Next year, I said this. Somebody sent me a video that they were playing it on a popular TV channel. And I repeat it again. See, I should be careful. I say, me careful. I will say it again. I saw power leaving not. 2012. Not even, not even election year. I said, I see a new president. 2012. So they said I was confused. I said, don't say the Lord Jonathan. Go home. You remember? The Lord said, you are the last PDP president. The Lord said, go home. But the Lord said, this one that is coming. As he enters power for six months, there will be no cabinet ministers. Come and see insults. Say, Apostle Suleiman, we have to check his degree. We are not sure he went to school. From Senate. We are not sure. How can somebody be president and no ministers? The man enter. Six months, no ministers. <laughs> now, when it now happens, nobody comes back to say, so they'll keep quiet. Hey, he's God, he's God, he's God, he's God. And I'm saying this again to you. This is what the Lord told me. This country will shake up. I speak in parable. I said something during the independence. I repeated it again. You will see what will happen. This country will shake. That's what God told me. What's today? Okay. I'm, I'm, the reason I'm saying this date down so that you will say oh, it happened before he said it. So I'm calling the date down. 6.35 p.m. December 30th 2020 Not it The Lord told me audibly That number 2 will become number 1 It's a prophecy It's a prophecy It's a prophecy Nigeria Will not break Nigeria will not divide There will be no war In this country what God will do, He will do it silently. Those who are planning for 2023, listen to me. They should pray to see it. They should pray to see it. In Lagos, I prophesied that there will be no Kaaba. So let's open up to what God is going to do. I've heard from God. I don't care whatever you say. Carry this clip, abuse me insult me see any kind of thing it doesn't mean my skin is thick very thick it doesn't mean nothing to me call me bad prophet call me bad pastor now you get your mouth and if you now lift up your voice that you want to fight it you put yourself in problem when prophecy is given you should be asking what is the way out but if you decide to be arrogant you kill yourself <laughs>